Hey everyone, welcome to Neil Talks. My name's Neil and it's time to talk Avatar The Last Airbender. I've really loved the start to season two so far. We've kind of hit the ground running. We've already made it to Omashu to find it under, under Fire Nation control. Boomy's got a long-term plan of wait and see, but he's still, he's A, he's still alive. B, he's still definitely got a plan, but that plan is patience. And so he can't be Aang's earthbending teacher, which means our search continues. And that search is complicated because Zuko's sister, Azula, is assembling a team of talented young women, including Mei, the daughter of the governor of Omashu, now new Ozai to uh, help her in her quest. She's going streamlined, she's getting rid of all the royal retinue and all the bells and whistles. This is a, a strike team that she's assembling with two tasks. One, capture Zuko and Iroh and bring them back to the Fire Nation. And two, capture the Avatar. And so far, everything we've seen of her She's incredibly talented, she's incredibly focused, and she's cruel and ruthless. And uh, I hope we learn more about her. I hope we get some more depth to her. Right now, she's a little bit one-dimensional, but nevertheless, she's an, an intimidating antagonist. And uh, I think the kids have their hands full with her this season, especially since she's assembling a team to help her. Uh, curious to learn more about what May's abilities are. We know, I, I, I forget the name of the other girl recruit, but she's a circus performer. She certainly got some abilities there. But all of these girls are graduates of the uh, Fire Nation School for Girls. So that's, that's all we really know about them so far. But I think we're going to learn a lot more this season. Anyway, let's jump into this next episode. This is episode four from season two, and it's called The Swamp. All right. This is an Earth village, right? But they're begging. Wow. This is humiliating. We're royalty. These people should be giving us whatever we want. They will, if you ask nicely. Love, Iroh. The coin is appreciated. But not as much as your smile. <laughs> I love how Iroh's such a flirt. It's a long, long way to Ba Sing Se. But the girls in the city, they look so pretty. I love Iroh. And they kiss so sweet that you really got to meet the girls from Ba Sing Se. Nothing like a fat man dancing for his dinner. Here you go. What an asshole. Such a kind man. <laughs> well, Zuko's gonna kill him. You all right, Aang? Oh, that's a really cool lighting effect. The, the reflections off the water from above. Hey, why are we going down? What? I think the swamp is Call calling him. to me. I think it wants us to land there. No offense to the swamp, but I don't see any land there to land on. When we said to learn earthbending, I would have to wait and listen. And now I'm actually hearing the earth. Do you want me to ignore it? No. Nope. Yes. Even Appa and Momo don't like it here. Okay. Bye, swamp. Yep, yep. Mm, we'll be back. Oh. It's chasing you. You should probably land. Oh, we're getting all Wizard of Ozzy here. Oh no. Op is going to have like a broken paw or something. They featured that falling out of the bubble of protection. Where's Appa and Momo? Oh, this is definitely Dagobah. And Oppa's gonna have like a broken foot. Sokka, you've got an elbow leech. Where? Where? Probably. Where do you yeah. think? You couldn't find them? Tarzan. No. And the tornado. It just disappeared. Yeah, somebody created that, which would imply another airbender. 
Oh no! Oh no, Appa! Um... Momo? Hello? Ow! <laughs> we better speed things up. Maybe we should be a little nicer to the swamp. Something about this place feels alive. I'm sure All there of are it. lots of things that are alive here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Don't blow my whistle. What was that? Nothing, just swamp gas. <laughs> Holy crap! I think we should build a fire. Does anyone else get the feeling that we're being watched? Please, we're all alone out here. Except for them. Right, except for them. <laughs> Swamps get noisy at night. So what is this thing that's been watching them? It's plant life. It's only circling Sokka though, because... Well, maybe not. It's got them all. Now they're all separated. You know what's at the end of that trail? Dinner. All right, we got hillbillies in the swamp. A bit of a stereotype, but okay. Alligator. Alligator catfish. Hello? Hello? Can you help me? It's yourself. Mom? Mom? Mom! I can't believe. <gasps> Hello? You a eh? I'm going crazy. You didn't protect me. You didn't protect me. Oh. Their deepest insecurities. Hello? I'm Who assuming their mom is dead, right? <laughs> Who hey, is that? Come back! With the flying white pig. Tarzang. <laughs> Betty tastes a lot like possum chicken. You think everything tastes like possum chicken? No worry about we just fixing to eat ya. But you don't have to tell them that. Well, how'd I know they'd understand me? Waterbenders. Presumably. Yeah. Or airbenders. Would they have been one the ones to make the the tornado too? Who are you? Ah! Oh, they're real. Okay, reunited. I heard laughing and I saw some girl in a fancy dress. I thought I saw mom. I thought I saw Yue. But that doesn't prove anything. And all our visions led us right here. The center. The heart of the swamp. Oh it's wow. The heart of the swamp. It's been calling us here. For the last time, there's nothing after us. And there's nothing magical happening here. Whoa. Well, I know what my thumbnail is. So this is like the Earth equivalent of the, the water spirit that Aang occupied? Maybe? Breaking out the mouth harps and the banjos. So 
So is this thing the same as the heart of the, the swamp, or what's this all about? Oh. Water blades. Oh, wait, is it full of the people? Yeah. There's someone in there! He's bending the vines! Is he an earth bender then? Oh. Why did you call me here if you just wanted to kill us? Wait! I didn't call you here. He's the Avatar. Stuff like that happens to us a lot. <laughs> the Avatar. Come with me. Follow that for a come with me? I protect the swamp from folks that want to hurt it. Like this fellow with his big knife. See? Completely reasonable. Nothing mystical about it. Oh, the swamp is a mystical place. All yeah, right. Here comes the mystical. Sacred. I heard it calling me. Is he a, pl like a plant he bender then? If you listen hard enough, you can hear every living thing breathing together. We all have the same roots, and we are all branches of the same tree. But okay. what did our visions mean? It's a good metaphor. In the swamp, we see visions of people we loved, folks we think are gone. Is that Aang's mother? The swamp tells us they're not. We're still connected to them. Time is an illusion. So one of his previous guises. I will meet. Oh. Everything is connected. Come on, we gotta hurry. Oh! We're under attack! Water versus water. You guys are waterbenders. You too? That means we're kin. <laughs> hey, Hugh. How you been? The usual. Hugh? Hugh. So what... What is Hugh? Is he a waterbender? Didn't know they was waterbenders anywhere but here. They got a nice swamp there, do they? Mm. No, it's all ice and snow. What are those? Mm, no wonder you left. Nothing strange was going on here. Just a bunch of greasy people living in a swamp. What about the visions? What about when the tree showed me where Appa and Momo were? That's Avatar stuff. That doesn't count. The only thing I can't figure out is how you made the tornado that sucked us down. I can't do anything like that. I just bend the water in the plants. Okay, he's another waterbender. Ah! <laughs> okay. Oh, Zuko's revenge. Is he the blue spirit again? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Feels like a bit of a filler episode, but it's cool to learn that there are water benders in a place other than the poles. There's this tribe of them living in the in the swamp in the tropics somewhere. But uh, you have to remember that this is a kid's show. And every so often there's a... Kid's shows just do episodes where it's things like reinforcing positive messages. Like, we're all connected. The, the Earth is one giant living organism. You know, let's, let's push a bit of a, an ecological uh, message here. Nothing wrong with that whatsoever. And this was definitely connected to that in a way but but you can't help but presume that there there's also a a message that ang has to learn there on his journey to becoming a, a an earthbender and he's he's listening to the earth the the swamp calls him is did it call him for this reason is this the lesson he needed to learn that everything is connected or was there another reason? Is there some greater mystery to the swamp? Or is it like Sokka says and everything's explained? Let's keep some mystery about that, I suppose. I thought we'd get more of Azula and the chase, but I, I, I also get why we're going to pause from that every so often. Because we have multiple separate storylines. Last, last season was almost exclusively Aang and team and Zuko and Iroh. Now we've added a third main storyline 
which is Azula and her team. And and the Zuko Iro story, I don't know where it's going, but it's interesting because right now they're just begging on the streets in some earth town. And Iroh's having a blast dancing for, for, for coins, flirting with girls as they pass by. But uh, Zuko's not digging on it. Zuko's not having fun with it, and uh, he's returning to the Blue Spirit, as we saw in that last scene, to right the wrongs that he's seeing, because that guy treated his uncle like garbage. And uh, Zuko felt he needed to be punished. Now, what that punishment is exactly, not looking good. Probably death, but yeah. The Blue Spirit's not a one-off. That's interesting. Who else knows... Like, Admiral Zhao knew he was the Blue Spirit by the time we got to the end of last season. But he's presumably dead now. So is there anyone else that would connect a Blue Spirit sighting to Zuko? I wonder. In any case, interesting episode. Not my favorite, but by no means terrible. I feel like every, every season, because these are 20 episode seasons, is going to have a few sort of standalone episodes that don't necessarily progress the main plot. And, and that's okay. Like I said, you need to find 20 episodes worth of story every season. But I do like that even in standalones like this one, there there is a lesson there for Aang if he wants to to learn it. So I appreciate that. We we seem that seems to be a common theme this entire season so far is there are lessons to take Aang closer to being the Avatar in every episode we've had so far. I'm digging that. All right. Well, I'm psyched for another episode. Can't wait to next week to ju jump into it. So until then, everybody, take care, stay healthy, and we'll see you soon. Cheers.